What's up gamers, it's Paladin Null, and this is another episode of Darksiders. It's been so long since I recorded the last episode, because I haven't had any space on my computer to record anymore, that I really forgot what I did in the last episode, other than finding that Vulgrim spot, and probably something to do with our horse Ruin. Anyway, in this episode, I believe we are going to go fight that giant snake creature, and I'm going to apologize in advance, first off, because I can't remember the name of the creature, and second off, because... I've tried recording this scene like 12 different times and I've beaten him three times so I already know how to beat him. Unfortunately that means that I already know what I'm doing in this boss fight and I don't like I can explain as I go but it's not going to be blind like the rest of my LP has been. Was I just on my horse? I was just on my horse. So that's the Stygian. Ah, it's Looks called like the Stygian. That's right. Pretty good. Now you just have to get in there and finish what they started. But first, let's kill a couple of these guys, which is really easy to do when you're on horseback. <laughs> I just like knocking them up into the air and then slashing them a second time and they're just dead. It's a really satisfying feeling, you know? Once again, was on my horse, but now I'm not. Wait, did I just hear Wilhelm scream? It's really, really, really quiet, but you can hear it there in the background. Hmm. Well then. I forgot how to lock on. There we go. Right, horseman. Do what you were born to do. Okay, so in this boss fight, he's gonna go through this phase where he's chasing you. And unlike the last warp, since he has that metal plate on his face, we can't really do anything to stop him right now. However, oh, and there he goes. He's going to do a couple of these faces where he's running directly after us. As we see here. Oh, and now he's going to the second phase, is what it looks like. Anyway, in the second phase, you just want to run up right, you want to ride up next to him. And, uh, come on, get a little bit closer and slash at the uh, the face mask of the thing. <sighs> and I'm terrible at riding this horse properly. Come on. There we go. So, after you break the face mask, well, guess what? Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on. I just broke your face mask now. It's time for you to... Yeah. There's guys to rise up out of the ground and be a be big meanie. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot. He also, got, he also uh, has a couple of buddies join him. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, crap, crap. Ouchies. Just got uh, dehorsed. Come on, horsey. Time to come back. Why am I not... I keep forgetting to, uh... <laughs> they keep dehorsing me. This is no fun.
This is how you're supposed to do it, if I remember correctly. It just takes a while. Well, you can do it this way, or you can uh, you can ride up next to him and slash him, but that's a whole lot harder to pull off. And there's the Stygian. So whenever he reveals himself, you just shoot him in the face a bunch of times, just like the last gigantic sandworm that we fought. It's really not that hard of a boss fight once you get past the whole metal faceplate, which was the hardest part for me to get past. Which is kind of a... It's funny how easy this boss fight was the first time that I... Or how hard this boss fight was the first time that I did it, because I didn't know anything about the whole, uh... The whole, um thing with the multiple worms and whatnot and the faceplate and whatnot. I didn't know how to break the faceplate so I just kept dying to the boss over and over again. But yeah, you just keep dodging him is all it is. Dashing every now and again to make sure that you're a far enough distance away from him. Come on, Stygian. Just go down. You haven't laid a finger on me since you summoned your little worm creatures. And they're gone. So I'm fighting you. I don't know if you can use the cross, the cross blade to this, but it doesn't really matter because he's down. Oh, wait. We have to be on horseback for this, right? It's like the end of Pirates of the Caribbean, what is it, 2 or 3? I can't remember. I stopped counting after a while. Those movies got really mediocre really fast. We've got ourselves a Heart of the Chosen. Samaya required this item of powerful arcane energy to unlock access to the Black Throne. And a new life stone. And a bunch of souls. And I guess there's nothing left to do but get the Stygian's heart back to Samael. Still, all these hearts, the power he'll get from them. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't, but you know what? That's half the fun, isn't it? And I don't know how to get out of here. I guess I just get out of here the same way that you uh, get in here, maybe. Um, I guess that's where that's yeah, that's where the mini map is telling me to go. Just calmly ride my horse back into here, and we're done. Now we head back towards Samayo, which is going to take. Oh wait, I forgot. Um, once I get to this point, what's it gonna do? Because if I'm just headed back to Samael, that's what the Volgrim spots are for, is for me to use the, um, Serpent Road, or Serpent Hole. If, I j if I'm just trying to head back to, uh, Samael, yeah, I can just head back here. And it's the exact same walkway we've done three or four times now. Yay! Yay! Yay. This place is really interesting looking. It's kind of just, uh, kind of just out there. A lot of floating columns and whatnot. Some fires here and there. I wonder where this actually is in the ethereal plane of Darksiders. Like, because it's obviously not on Earth, but is it, like, in Earth or something? Or is it in a completely different dimension, and if so, why would there need to be an entire walkway inside of the other dimension if it were just a, a wormhole to a different world? Bravo, 
Even the ash crawling Stygian lies dead in your way. Yeah, I'm not really listening to you, Volgrim. I'm sorry. Why can't I? Oh, right. RT to throw. I was hitting RB. Oh, hey, look! They have uh, new enemies in this area. <laughs> Batter up. Gah! Pounding. I'm actually using some of my other moves now. If you couldn't tell. Some of these uh, RB moves are really strong, too. <laughs> like that one. I can also do this now. Which didn't do anything because these guys are going really crazy right now. <laughs> I upgraded it so it increased the range on that as well. Uh, if we hit down as well, we can... Uh, Whirlwind attack. Wings off, and in your chest. I'm just gonna shoot you a couple times. I just love the range that that attack has. It's got so much more range than any of my other attacks. Alright, buddy, come here. It also stuns people, which is really nice whenever you're fighting in groups. But, uh, now I need to remember where Samael is. It's through this door, that's right. Yeah, hey, I can summon my horse out here. Sweet. I didn't know that. I won't be able to have it for long because I'm going to be heading inside, but... Cool. There's a lot of areas now that I bet I can summon my horse now that I actually have Ruin back. Oh, wait. Gotta bear with me here, people. I have not played this game in a while. Wee Green souls for health. Oh, they upgraded the enemies in here as well. Just hit him with a chair. I actually didn't mean to do that one, but you know what? It works, so legs off. I was trying to do that one, which not only knocks them away, but catches them on fire now. Okay, his body disappeared. I always forget their bodies disappeared, but I was going to look at it because it was all jiggly there for a minute. One of these days, I'm going to end up trying to open a door like uh, War here and sprain my ankle. Because whenever I finish playing um, Bioshock Infinite, anytime that I stepped into an elevator, um, I hit the uh, thing with the back of my hand like they do in, uh, like uh, Booker does in Bioshock Infinite. Oh boy. Big enemy. Big enemy. Quick! Immolation time! That immolation is amazing. Just turn it on whenever I need to kill a bunch of enemies. tried to dodge that, but I was hitting the wrong button. I can't hit him. Fire bats. 
not the ones from StarCraft either. This area's gotten a lot more dangerous. Hey, Samio. One more. Just one more. And then more. You get your tower. Silitha's web infested lair is far across the great chasm in the Ashlands. Ruin has yet to regain much of his strength, but he will make the distance. As for Silitha, just get there, and she'll find you. The Broodmother is a collector of sorts. Most who enter her realm, she feeds to her young. The one she takes an interest in. <laughs> ah, those are the unlucky ones. Those she keeps alive, and they can live a long time. Long enough to tell her things. You could say she collects stories, information. What stories will she tell me about you, Samael? Careful! Or your ending will be a tragic one. Sometimes the hero dies in the end. But Horseman, I like stories that have a happy ending. Now bring me the final heart. Way to be bipolar there, Samael. So. It would not be... Oh, wait, what? War can now access one storm at Soul Bridges. Charge Ruin through their pillars to activate them. Interesting. However, I have one thing to say. And it's that we can't have an action RPG game, or any RPG game, or most regular just action video games in general, without having gigantic spiders as, the, as one of the enemy types. I can't remember where we go out. Where's the... I am completely lost right now. I don't know why. But yeah. Giant spider boss. As always. Can't be a game without him. I don't think I'm going the right way. But I don't care. I'm on a horse. Let me out. Don't get in my way, gigantic panther dude. I'm just sort of riding around. I really don't know where I'm going, and it's been a while since I recorded, so I'm a little rusty. Let's see here. Let's jump off of uh, Ruin here. And, uh, you know what? You know what? We haven't checked our map yet. We should probably check our map. Let's check our map. Wait, whoops. I didn't mean to carry. I didn't mean to call him. I meant to check the map. Oh, so I was going the right way. We need to get across this chasm in the Ashlands. The Iron Canopy and the Final Guardian are on the other side. Tee -hee. Later, Giant Panther Dude. Is there a Vulgrim spot around here, I guess? Ah! I was forced off of my horse. Great. Um... Oh wait, this doesn't do any damage to him. Well then. We have immolation for a reason. And dead. Dead. And dead. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Dead. Alrighty. So then, I guess we're heading back through this pipe here? I guess so. How did I miss this before? I could have sworn I came through here before and gotten that. Or maybe not. Another party hard there for you guys. Yeah. I'm making splashes this time too, it's hard to tell that I'm even here. This game isn't perfect, but... 
it's pretty fun. And now we do our whole run through really long corridors thing again. Build one. Oops. I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls 2, so I keep trying to hit B to dodge. In retrospect, playing these things back to back is probably not going to be too good for me. Oh yeah, I forgot these are the guys that do this, aren't they? Then you rip off a horn and we jump off. Then he attacks me again. Can't catch him on fire there. I am just getting my butt handed to me right now. Just execute. There's no reason for us to be running around anymore. Okay. And, uh, still don't know what that thing is. It looks like there's a lock over there. Wait, no, that's not a lock. Now, remember, that's a, um... That's a thing for us to use our, uh... This thingy on. So we want to pull this thingy. Uh, quick! Use the right uh, button here. To lock that in place. I cannot ride, uh... Um... Why can't I remember his name now? Anyway, I can't ride Ruin through here right now, so we're just gonna... <sighs> you guys. I don't like being down this much health before I even get to the dungeon. Rip a horn off, drop you to the ground. And let's actually get back to uh, fighting like we did in Dark Souls. Well, not Dark Souls, but Dark Siders. Enough trying to press B to dodge. B is an execute move in this one. And head off. And we're done. And I don't want to use up any of my crystals just to heal up right now because I'm pretty sure before we get into the dungeon there's going to be a health chest somewhere around here. They typically throw one of those in here somewhere. We just have to wait until we actually get to that point. In the meantime, hardcore parkour. Oh, jump across. Mm -hmm. Ah, nothing. I bet that's where an artifact was at one point. Wouldn't it have been faster to Volgrim warp? I just realized that. I'm stupid. Horsey time. I think this is faster than regular walking. Ah, and then I have to go back off the horse again. Yeah, this definitely would have been faster to just take a vulgar warp. Ah, uh, wow. But I had to do things the hard way. I need to go up there, don't I? So, I need to, uh, smack that thing. I said smack that thing. Cling onto the edge here. I just realized, war glows like red in the face whenever his chaos meter is full. I already did all the things with that, so I can just jump across, I think. Heep! Not quite. Um, how am I supposed to make that jump normally? Because I think that's the only thing I can do in that situation, is just to make the blind leap. And I really don't feel like making a cut, because I've already got a lot of work on my table, so I really don't want to have to do a whole bunch of extra editing in this episode. 
Well, let's see here. Got to the very edge that time. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Keep moving. I really need to reutilize those uh, warp points more often. Because that's all this is going to be, is just me running around wishing that I had used the Vulgrim warp to that area right there. Um, and there's no time stopper in this room, so I need to... Uh, let's see here. No, I meant to do this. And then target all three. And then throw. And I immediately fell. <laughs> oh man, I'm so good at this. First off, let's make sure I'm at the edge here, or slightly away from the edge. Target all three. Get ready, and throw. Jump, and I said hurry. Hurry. There we go. Very slow climb, but it's worth it. Come on. Do oh wait. I can't hit our uh RB to make him dash across that. And drop. Can I summon my horsey yet? No, I cannot. But there's a Vulgrim spot up here. You know, one that I probably could have warped to if I had actually spent the time to do it. Yeah, I totally could have warped to this warp. I could have warped to this uh, Vulgrim spot. That makes me sad. Not necessarily sad, but definitely. You know what? Before I continue walking, I'm going to see if there is a if there isn't a warp to uh, wherever we're headed. Because I've spent enough time walking this path already. Okay, there isn't. Great. What would you ask of this spent so much time walking, and now there's not even a warp. Well, whenever we get into this next area here, let's check the map. And it looks like we're going to need to go over to there. Which... Are there any sandworms left? Doesn't really look like it. Let's just run then. There's no sandworms to stop us. And it's not like the sandworms are any trouble anymore. I proved that. Of course, they make this a slight edge so that I can't uh, jump up it with uh, ruin. Can I summon ruin up here now? I can. Come on, ruin. I'm not sure if it's going to be faster or slower to try and use ruin on this section, but yeah, yeah. First off, my uh, FPS is going crazy right now because of uh, because of trying to use Ruin, but let's just handle it this way then. Besides, we have to make that jump anyway. So it all works out. I always get really paranoid whenever my FPS starts screwing up because I have had problems with recording software screwing up my FPS in the past. Ah, that's what, we, that's what they meant about the bridges thing. So, I just have to blindly dash into it and hope that it, uh, hope that it works. Access once dormant soul bridges. Charge ruin through their pillars to activate them. Oh, there's no time like the present! Ooh, that's fancy. That's fancy. Oh, I'm starting to see webbing. Um... If we get to the dungeon entrance, I'm probably going to uh, finish off the episode. Because I spent the entire episode just running around trying to get here. When I probably could have gotten further into the dungeon if I had just started using Vulgrim Warps. Well, live and learn. I mean, what else can you say about it? This is a long chasm of nothingness. And spider webs. 
Just gonna charge a couple times here to get uh, some speed up. Ooh, a cutscene. Oh boy, giant spider enemies. <laughs> oh, and I got captured, wow. How did that happen? Well, I suppose that's one way into a giant spider-filled cavern. Uh, to Arianya, I would quickly like to say... Sorry about that. This is probably going to be an area full of spiders. Just letting you know that now. Um, but yeah, it's about 31 minutes into the recording, so it's time to uh, end it, and this is probably as good a place as ever to end it. Anyway, I have been Paladin Null. This has been Darksiders. Uh, sorry about the gap in recordings that I've had, that I had, I guess, whenever this goes out a couple of weeks ago. Hopefully. <laughs> With my recording schedule being the way it is now, it's hard to tell when these episodes are going to be coming out. Anyway, thank you kindly, everybody who st stuck by me w while I was away. And I just want to say that hopefully now, recordings will be coming back to a more standardized rate. And um, as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.